Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm just gonna um, quickly play title based on normal here, and I just want to go ahead and show you guys two loot rooms that are hidden throughout the mission. You'll need one to set up the other. So the first room, which I'll show in a little bit, is where you get the key for the second room. If some of you know, there's a key that's placed on the second floor of a building. And actually on the second floor of that building is where the first room's located. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pretty much just jump there. You guys don't need to see me playing this. All right, so I just cleared the second area, I would guess you would call it. So we're going into the third area right now where the first room is located and the key for the second room is. So we're just gonna take out the NPCs here, plus the one of the turrets. And then again, it's not normal. So just to demonstrate where the rooms are. I tried it once on heroic and so far and haven't been able to pull it off. So we'll just kill this grenade right here and then get started. All right, so the room is actually like the terrace. I don't know if you saw it to the left there. It's right above me, I'm looking up there now. There's a yellow utility box, which is similar to what we saw in the Lincoln Memorial mission. So you just wanna shoot that, head into the building. And once you get inside, just cue the objective and then head upstairs to that. You can see right there's the first key or the key for the second room and then we can just head outside and there's a gun case and then there's a black tusk box behind me uh, i didn't have a key at the time of recording it so i just kind of left it there you can see the black tusk box is right down there in the corner and you just want to proceed on to the mission you won't need the key until you get to the hovercraft portion of the game all right so i fought my way through the other parts of the mission to get to this hovercraft now i just walked in it and the room is in the back left corner you may have stumbled it upon upon it earlier when you were playing title base when it first came out and you'll see uh shortly here that there's a little keypad on it and you that's what you actually need the key for now something i didn't realize until i was running this mission by myself and when I tried it to do it a few times in matchmaking is that the person that picks up the key in that second clip I had showed where the key was up on the second floor there was the yellow thing they are the ones that actually unlock the room so if you're running it in matchmaking and you don't get the key try to either put your mic on or tell them to open the door for you if you haven't gotten what's in there yet uh, if not I would just run it like I'm doing now uh, just solo normal and just quickly run through it. It only took me about a half hour to get to this point in the game. Or the game, the mission. So we'll just clean up a few of these more NPCs. Those turrets, man, they are just devastating. I, the turrets and the, the dog looking combatants are. always seem to get me. There's just a few more. Left. We'll take out the, the radio guy. I think the turrets, the tracks are broken, so I don't need to worry about them moving. Oh, he's going to fix it. Ooh, gear set piece. That's a bonus. I think I'm going to rush him now. There's a, oh, probably only a few of them left. Hopefully I can take care of them. Oh, not like that. Alright, where's this last one? Oh, he's behind me, I think. Or not? I swear something hit me from behind. All right, what is this? Oh, doesn't look that enticing. All right, so there's a loot box here. That's okay, backpack. And then the room I'm talking about is right here. So again, the person that picks up the key has to be the one to open it. And inside, there's a gun case and a sniper rifle. Now, if you deconstruct this sniper rifle which I'm going to do now to show you. You'll get an exotic piece. I forget what it's called, but you, it's this exotic sniper piece. And it, in the clip, I accidentally set it to my primary. I was panicking, and I de did not deconstruct it. I deconstructed some other randoms. Like now I'm showing the stats of some Spaz 12 I picked up. A little bit of a blunder on my part, but I'm not going to refilm it. So I still don't think I realized it. So I was like, oh, I'll just deconstruct it. 
kind of showing it off. It says, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it says because we're going to deconstruct it. And you can see my first go. And I'm sitting here wondering what I did wrong. And I did not realize it yet, but I set it to my primary. So I just went back and got my normal gun and then deconstructed it. And you get a exotic piece for the marksman rifle scope called the tally. Uh, I currently don't know what to do with it. So hopefully you guys can stay tuned and I'll show you what to do with it when I figure it out. But that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys later. Good luck. All right, I'm back after doing some research on how to get the other pieces for the exotic sniper rifle, the Nemesis, which apparently came out with this latest title base on update. Unfortunately, we don't have stats or anything on it, so I'll just quickly talk about how to get it, and hopefully it'll be worth it. Uh, the other exotics in the game really haven't piqued my interest yet, so I haven't gotten them yet. But, so there's some in the background here, I'm just gonna be playing out the mission and killing the final boss. So, how do you get the other three pieces? Boy, oh boy, did they make this exotic more difficult than the last. So, after you get to World Tier 5, comp after completing Title Basin once, you'll get to World Tier 5. Then, you'll have to play Title Basin again. Or, I guess you can do it in any order. The invaded, three invaded missions will prop this week. There's three invaded missions, and then there's one str invaded stronghold, which is the capital. So... What you'll have to do is, or well, what I would do, is I would just play Tidal Basin again and get the sniper that I just shown here and then deconstruct it. Then you'll have to, currently this week, go replay the capital. After you complete the three invaded missions, you'll have to play the capital stronghold. And there should be a boss at the very end called Prime. And he will have, hopefully, a drop that will be one of the other exotic pieces for the Nemesis Sniper Rifle. So what I would do, because unfortunately I don't know the probabilities, I would just get some buddies and play it on normal over and over and over until you get the drop. And it's probably, I don't know if it's the fastest way of getting it, but that's probably the easiest way of getting it since you're just playing the mission for the drop. Unless you want to play for XP or something, then you can play it on hard difficulty. So, you'll have to, now you'll have two pieces, one from Tidal Basin and one from the Capital by defeating Prime. Then you'll have to wait next week for the three newer invaded missions to come out. Oh. And hopefully, the one of them, well, we know one of them, hopefully will be either the Union or the Roosevelt Island. And in the Union, you'll have to defeat clutch at the end again and then hopefully they will drop another piece of the exotic nemesis sniper rifle and then you'll repeat the same thing for the Roosevelt stronghold which the final boss's name is Shorty so you'll have to again play the three invaded missions do the stronghold and hopefully get the drop I don't know what the probability is, like I said earlier, so we may have to play it multiple times. That's why I think normal is probably the best way to go, unless someone comes out and says the probability of the drop. I, I would suspect that normal would be the quickest way to, to get it. And who knows, it will, it will be worth it, given we don't know the stats on it yet, but hopefully it's better than the other ones right now. The chatterbox is really worth the only exotic getting. So then I just, these last few minutes of the video, I just wanted to show you one potential glitch that can happen to me one time during matchmaking when I was playing Tidal Basin. It's that there's a little ledge here off to the right where I am now where the boss or the teammate or you could potentially fall down to. So what happened to me was that we were playing matchmaking a full squad and the boss actually fell down the ledge that I'm going to walk back to after I just get my loot so I don't forget. Because I'm not sure what's going to happen. I've never done it solo. The boss had fell, fallen off this ledge. And we 
sat there for a good while trying to figure out what the heck happened. And apparently you can just walk up onto the ledge to the left of where I am, press B, and you will fall down to the walkway below. So when, now because I'm playing solo, I think it just respawns me back at the top. I'm not sure if they did a hot patch, but when I was playing it in matchmaking with a full squad, we actually, the boss fell down to the platform below. Luckily, three of us only went down below to chase the boss and uh, kill the boss, and one of us stayed up here. So what we were able to do after killing the boss is just fast travel back up here because the mission is not actually complete until you go down this rope. So hopefully they fixed it. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried it since that day. And as you just saw, it just spawned me back at the top. So hopefully that was a hot fix. But I just want to mention that and let you guys know how to solve that problem if it does arise. So just to sum it all up, go play the capital right now. Go defeat Prime until he'll drop an exotic piece for the Nemesis Sniper Rifle. Wait a week and then play the other Stronghold that comes out. And then hopefully wait a week again and play the next Stronghold that comes out to get the final pieces of the ex Nemesis Exotic Sniper Rifle. Until next time, guys. Good luck.